Paul Manafort's former right-hand man is uh, going to continue to testify against his boss in his ex-boss's fraud trial today. Rick Gates was hammered by court uh, in court rather yesterday by Manafort's lawyers. Now he admitted to cheating on his wife and stealing from Manafort. Well, today they are continuing their attacks on Gates, who is cooperating with special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation. Paula Reed is following the trial in Alexandria, Virginia. In a dramatic exchange, Manafort's attorney Kevin Downing asked Gates, after all the lies you've told and fraud you've committed, you expect this jury to believe you? Yes, Gates responded, I'm here to tell the truth. A Democrat-inspired witch hunt. I would call it the rigged witch hunt. President Trump has continuously tried to discredit the Mueller probe and paints its first official trial as a case of overzealous prosecution. Paul Manafort, who's, who really is a nice man. And Manafort's lawyers hope the jury will also see the former Trump campaign chairman as a victim. Mr. Manafort had a great day. Under relentless cross-examination, Gates admitted to embezzling from Manafort, as well as more sordid details like having an extramarital affair a decade ago, along with a secret apartment in London to house the tryst. Gates testified that he committed financial crimes, including tax evasion and bank fraud, at Manafort's direction. The trial focused on the Trump campaign for the first time yesterday, as Gates admitted that, quote, it's possible he may have submitted personal expenses to the inaugural committee. It's very likely that Gates knows uh, a great deal of what was going on in the campaign. Former the federal prosecutor Peter there. Zeitenberg says so. Gates' cooperation with the special counsel could lead to more indictments in the probe. There will be other shoes to drop in this investigation. CBS News Washington correspondent Paula Reed was in the courtroom yesterday. So, Paula, what was Gates like in the courtroom? It's really interesting to see the difference because when Gates was being questioned by prosecutors, by the special counsel, even when he was admitting to over half a dozen crimes he had committed, he was cool as a cucumber. Now, he had time to prepare with the special counsel, but he was very relaxed. He was very confident, and we saw this shift in his demeanor as soon as Paul Manafort's attorney, Kevin Downing, took to the stage. He's, he started to blink a lot. I think that's a nervous tick for him. And his face even twitched a few times. He looked incredibly nervous. He had difficulty even answering some of the questions. And at one point, the defense attorney remarked. He said, wow, you didn't have this much trouble when it was the prosecution asking you the same exact questions. He also got a little snarky. He said something to the effect of, have you told so many lies you can't even remember all of the correct answers? But it was definitely a shift in his demeanor, in his confidence, and ultimately just his ability to answer the questions. Questions. That's really interesting because I would have thought that he would have prepared for this sort of cross examination. He pretty much knew what was coming. You know, he did testify that he committed numerous crimes. So, how do you think that will affect the overall special counsel's investigation? The goal for the defense here was to completely undercut Gates's credibility. Not only did they revisit all of the crimes that he had already admitted to, the prosecution wanted to get out in front of that. That's why his, his prosecution uh, questioning started with him admitting everything he had done wrong. They wanted to get out in front of that because they knew this is how this would all go down. He had to revisit all of his crimes, and then he actually revealed new details about other possible crimes he may have committed, including when he was working for the Trump transition. He revealed he may have embezzled from the inaugural fund, just like he has admitted to embezzling from Manafort. They also got into some details about his personal life, including an extramarital affair that he had about a decade ago. But there were questions about whether or not he embezzled any money from Manafort to fund that affair, which included luxury hotels, first class flights, and even a flat in London to kind of facilitate this relationship. He does not deny that affair, but he does deny that he embezzled or took any money from Manafort to fund it. So how does all of that register with the jury? Well, they were clearly not going to like Gates very much. Um, they probably won't like uh, Gates very much. But the thing is, ultimately, his testimony matches a lot of the documents and matches the testimony from other people, uh, accountants, other people who, who worked on Manafort's personal finances. So just legally speaking, I don't think it's going to damage the credibility of the testimony testimony he is giving, but I doubt anyone in the jury is going to like invite him over to dinner. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the thing that if, you know, if somebody is willing to strike a deal and willing to plead guilty in exchange for leniency, chances are their hands are not clean. He wouldn't be the only one that's, you know, not the sort of most upstanding citizen on the stand. Um, but what can we expect to hear from him today? 
So the defense attorneys say they have at least another hour of questions for him. That should continue to be pretty dramatic, pretty explosive. Kevin Downing is a very good lawyer. He's had a chance to now go back, look at his notes, look at what he can revisit, anything he missed. And then the prosecution will have an opportunity to do what is called redirect. It's sort of they can go in and kind of clean up or clarify or just try to smooth out uh, anything that they think could be particularly damaging. So I think it'll probably be a few more hours of very dramatic testimony from Mr. Gates, but he's had a few hours away from the courtroom. It'll be interesting to see if he sort of comes in here a little bit sort of more uh, confident uh, or if we see more of this really nervous sort of ticks as he's trying to answer questions that, as you said, he's likely been preparing for for quite some time. Yeah, well, I look forward uh, to hearing about what you have to say about what went on in the courtroom. Every day is more interesting than the next. Thanks a lot, Paula.